some people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described as Abdalimun. And the Abdalimun are those who do wrong or do actions of wrong towards Allah or towards others. Wrong actions towards Allah or towards others. And wrong, this word wrong is, a, is a two kinds. There are two kinds of wrong. There is the wrong that you commit against yourself. And there is the wrong that you commit against others. Wrong nafsi wa wrong ghayb. The wrong that you commit against yourself is every time you go against the laws of Allah or the teachings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or when you <coughs> sin against Allah. Or when you do actions of sinning. That is considered to be wrong against yourself. Because no matter what actions that you do against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the evil effects or the evil consequences of these actions will come back on you, yourself. That's why it is considered wrong against yourself. You harm yourself basically when you go against the teachings of Allah or violate the rights of Allah or do actions of sinning against Allah. You are harming yourself because the evil consequences are, are going to chase you back and hunt you down. Any harm or any evil that you see in your life it must be one way or another connected to this kind of dhulm that you commit against yourself. Anytime you go against the teachings of Allah or violate his rights or sin against him, there will be some evil consequences of that, either in your health, in your family members, in your work, in your finances, in your money, in your poverty, in everyday life, you will see the evil consequences of it. Some people think that the evil results of our actions are delayed until Judgment Day. Yes, there will be results in Judgment Day. But still, there are evil results in this life before the next. And that's when you do wrong or commit wrong against yourself. But this kind of dhulm is forgivable by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you return back, you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always willing to forgive. And the door of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always open for anyone who returns back and asks for forgiveness and try to correct whatever mistakes in their life. The door of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always open for that. And Allah is very forgiving towards that. And Allah shows a great deal of loving towards those who return back to Him. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in another ayah in the Quran. Inna Allah yuhibbu tawwabina wa yuhibbu al-mutatahirin. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who return, who always return back to him. It's not that he would receive you back and would accept you, but still there is resentment on his part. No, there is loving towards those who return back to Allah. And remember like in this ayah, the word tawwabin, in this verse, it means somebody who strays away and then comes back and then goes away and then comes back. So does it, somebody who does it consistently, so no matter how you stray away from the path of Allah, and no matter how many times you violate the rights of Allah, Allah is always willing to accept you and will be receiving you lovingly into his domain again. But the other, the other type of dhulm that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not willing to forgive is the one that you commit against others. If you violate the rights of others. 
as the scholars say, حقوق الله مبنية على المسامحة وحقوق العباد مبنية على المشاحة which means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always willing to forgive that which relates to him. But that which is relating to others, Allah would never forgive it unless others forgive it themselves. So if you violate the rights of others, you do wrong to them, you take their money, you undermine their, their reputation, you do bad about them, you try to harm them in every way. This is a very dangerous one. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never forgive it, will never forgive violating the rights of others unless those others show forgiveness to you and say, okay, we will forgive for our part. That's why it is very dangerous. It's more dangerous than the first one. Because the first one, you only come back to Allah, you ask for forgiveness, you correct your wife, you be steadfast and be straight on the way of Allah, Allah will forgive it. But when it comes to others, by violating the rights of others, Allah will say no. The rights of my servants, I will never forgive them unless they themselves would forgive it. That's why we need to be very careful of this one. Be very careful of doing wrong to anyone because it will chase you until judgment day. And if you are not able to get the forgiveness of others for your action, they will take it one day from you in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have to give the right, the, them the rights back. And on judgment day, when people stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is nothing that you give back to others to make it up for their rights except one thing, your hasanat, your good deeds. Because you wouldn't have money on that day in order to make others forgive you by giving them money. Your words will not be enough on judgment day because everyone, it's, it's the day of complete selfishness. If anyone knows that others would owe them something and they have to give from their own hasanat, they will never forgive it. They will say, yes, we need more hasanat. Today we are in need of hasanat. So if you approach them on judgment day, saying, please forgive me for my violations, they will say no. Because this is the day when a father will not be there for their, for his kids. That uh, what Allah said, وَتَقْوُ يَوْمًا لَا يَجْزِي وَالِدٌ عَنْ وَلَدِهِ وَلَا مَوْلُودٌ هُوَ جَازٍ عَنْ وَالِدِهِ شَيْئًا A father would approach his own kids, asking them for one hasana, they would say no on that day. Mm. A mother would approach their kids, asking for one hasna on that day, she would say no. However, in this life, if you approach those that you did wrong against and ask them for forgiveness, most likely they will give it to you. So this is the one that we need to be very careful of. Committing wrong against others, doing wrong to others. And the Prophet ﷺ said in, in his hadith, الظُّلْمُ ظُلُمَاتٌ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةٌ Your wrong actions against others will turn into layers, many layers of darkness on Judgment Day. Many layers of darkness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talked about light and darkness when it comes to this day. That the true believers, the, they will have certain layers of light that will guide them on this day. But the boom of others will turn into layers of darkness on that day. When you need light the most. When you need light the most. So this is again the evil consequences of committing boom either against yourself or against others. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all from any kind of dhulm. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from violating his rights or the viola or violating the rights of others. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make those 
that we did wrong to at any point of our life be forgiven towards us. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us all steadfast on the path of Islam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive our mistakes and sins. Amen.